Hello, Scrappy Peeps. Susanna here today to share with you this um, breaking out of the box layout um, created using Ellie Studio goodies. So we are actually hopping over on IG today, and um, the focus of the hop is the So Much Love stamp set. And so I am going to use this stamp set to um, adorn the layout once I have put it together. So I have uh, three by four, or I should say four by three and six by four pocket cards um, and I am as well as a smaller so a four by six photo that's trimmed down and then two four by three photos and I am going to pretty much grid them down the page and skew off uh, the center. You can see that I used a scallop punch to uh, punch the top of that heart paper and um, I'm <laughs> doing something very unusual here. Um, I have my T-square, which those of you know, we generally don't get along, um, but uh, apparently we have a good relationship today and I'm actually lining things up. I tend to wing it um, with things, but I really wanted an inch border or roughly inch. I, I, want, I wanted symmetry of those two right-hand side top and bottom rows with the left hand, or it's actually the center row there, um, just because it is, a skew and so visually when you looked at it it needed some sort of symmetry um, down the page there so the uh, center photo is of the wine bar that we went to um, it was raining and it's actually a really cool photo um, blown up but I wanted it to go with the page and so um, I, I converted it to black and white because it just enhances the photo um, and then it works with that strong black frame from the kit there. Uh, originally, I was going to incorporate purple into um, the color palette that I chose to use because there's purple in the stripes in that pattern paper from the paper stack down below. Um, and you will see that I end up ditching that um, and I'll explain why as I get to it. So I'm pointing to the stamps and figuring, okay, this is how I'm going to use them. My intent is I'm going to um, use that XO in the little pink journaling card there. Yep. So I'm going to stamp this in red. Um, and I love that big bold statement that it works with or that it adds to the page. And it complements my uh, the red in my husband's um, striped polo up the top there. And then I am going to um, stamp some of the half and half hearts. I'm gonna call them for lack of a better word. So you'll see me stamp out one, um, and then you'll see me stamp out sort of my next stamp. Um, and I am going to do a purple and teal heart uh, because originally there was going to be more purple in the uh, layout. So what I will tell you about this is when you use the metal die, um, and you have not properly let your inks dry, the dye picks up the ink and then spreads it to the next heart that you cut out. So user be forewarned. <laughs> Don't make the same mistake that I did. Let your ink dry. Maybe just, um, you can actually just shoot your hot, your hot heat, preheated heat hot gun over it and that'll help dry the ink um, but so you'll see that both of these hearts uh, the white is not quite so crisp and clean because um, I had some ink spreadage via the metal die that I used so I've stamped out some hearts I'm going to use the coordinating metal dies and cut those out. Um, so the great thing about stamps is you can stamp directly onto the page or if you have metal dies that come with them, you can cut them out with metal dies or you can also fussy cut them. Um, what I like about the metal dies, if you do have them, is that it leaves that nice crisp edge. Um, or I should say the rounded edge, uh, and see how that black heart really complements the black in the photo and that black frame that is there. Um, and then my, my plan was to stitch them, um, which I actually do do, but uh, I end up having to cut out other hearts, um, and you'll see those on the page. Actually, I think I leave that 
one on the top left, it's this purple and uh, teal aqua. It's really more of a teal mint. Let's go with mint um, that I restamp and I stamp it with pink because I take the purple out of the collection and just leave the purple and the blue in that striped um, paper at the bottom down there. So I uh, want to add a little bit more from this. I want to add a little bit of black to the top. So I, once I adhere this all down, I'm going to um, stamp some more with the uh, So Much Love stamp. One of the things I love about stamping is that you can, um, you can add contrast to your page. Um, so here you can see I have some black, but I need a little bit more black definitely on that top side, um, probably top left in order to balance that sort of center row of black between the photo and the frame there. And then you can see the more dominant um, black that's in that scalloped heart on the right hand side. So definitely something on the top row needs black in order to balance that out. So um, here I'm pretty much happy with the, no I am happy, with the format of what I've got here and so it's just a matter of sticking things down. Um, I like the way that that date night sticker um, sort of camouflages, covers up the uh, wine room behind us. It was a really cool wine room. Um, so we went to a wine bar, this was date night on Friday, uh, last Friday, and um, we got to sit next to the wine bar, which was pretty cool. Um, it meant that we only had people on one side of us and we got to check out and watch everything that was going on in the uh, wine room, which funnily enough, they really never went into the wine room for wine. They always went in there for the hard alcohol. Um, so uh, we had the taster's menu that night. So uh, something that we, with the wine pairing, so it was a wine bar. So the taster's menu, you could only get with the wine pairing. And typically uh, Michael and I don't drink a whole lot. We'll have a glass of wine with dinner, um, but not four. So um, <laughs> needless to say, uh, it was a lot more alcohol than we would drink in probably three weeks, um, but it was it was still good. It was We had a good time um, and tried some really good wines and had some really good food. So I cut out the center of that frame because I decided I wanted to use that card from the uh, paper stack. It says a special note just for you. Um, and because it's date night, you know, there's all sorts of lovely things on the page. Um, so you can see the two hearts there um, and again that purple one is one that I'm going to restamp and I believe I do that off camera um, because I just I thought I was just gonna live with it and leave uh, the smudgy heart edges but I just if you know me I, I can't do that um, so this is where I decide eh, the purple doesn't really work and therefore I'm gonna have to take that purple heart off but I leave it as a placeholder as I'm designing so now I have the little XO script stamp um, oh no I'm sorry I apologize this says love you um, and just uh, it didn't you don't have to stick that in there but I liked the way that again it added that shot of black and sort of pulled it together because I am not going to stitch that heart but the ones that look like it I am going to stitch so this is the script XO that I stamped throughout a several of the O's um, on that pocket card. And I do that again, because, as I mentioned earlier, in order to get that black up there. It's just a subtle hint of it, um, but it's a, a good hint. So just again, adding a little splashes of black. Um, uh, Ellie Studio typically doesn't do enamel dots, but um, using these little stamps, it's kind of like a, an enamel dot visual, right? Uh, and so I've got that layered in, and then I will also go off camera and I will layer in um, some of the gold puffy hearts. Um, and that just adds just a little touch to the page. And so those are the three visual clusters that lead you through the page. So this is an IG hop, so be sure to head over to to IG, check out the layout there, and then hop through um, and see all of the other great things that the gals have created with the So Much Love stamp set. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the box down below. Thanks for stopping in today. Come back again soon. Take care.